Hello, in this presentation I will talk about the Mian robot, a low-cost 3 degrees of freedom robot with a gripper. Specifically, in this video I will explain how to emulate the Mian robot in Copelisim. The aims of the presentation are on the one hand to explain how to emulate the robot movements in Copelisim. The code is implemented in Arduino but reproduced in Copelisim as a simulation. Therefore, I will show you the Arduino code example that will communicate with Copelisim through the USB serial port, and Copelisim will reproduce the robot behavior in a virtual environment. To emulate the robot, we just need a microcontroller connected to the PC with a USB cable. In the example, I will use an Arduino NAN, although any other microcontroller should work for you too. No additional electronics are needed because the servo commands will be sent through the serial port. So, in order to indicate to Copelisim simulator the position of robot servos, we will send all data through the serial port and therefore we need to define a communication protocol. A simple message would be, for, us, for instance, to send a letter S together with the pin number where the servo is connected to. Then we can use the colon separator with a number that indicates the servo position in degrees. To end the message, we can use a semicolon character together with the carriage return and new link characters to finish the message. If we display messages in the Arduino IDE console, then we should see something similar as the text shown here. In Arduino, we can implement code like the one provided that allows us to send servo messages or to control real servos using a defined instruction. So, if robot emulation is defined, we will use the emulated robot in Copelisim, while if it's not defined, defined we will use the servo uh, with the real robot. On the right side, I provide you the code to create the data type that contains the generic information to uh, control a servo, such as the pin number where the servo is connected to, the offset angle, and also the minimum and maximum positions in degrees. In the code on the left, I show you how to implement the write servo and detach servo functions that I explained already in the previous video. But now in these functions, I also include the code to send messages to communicate with Copelisim based on the previous defined protocol. Once we have defined the previous functions and the robot servo T data type, we are ready to create an example in which the robot must reach three configurations and return to the initial configuration with a delay between configurations, combining the functions write servo and also the delay instruction. After the last configuration has been reached, I disconnect the servos with the detached servo function. Know that the global variable robot servos is different if we use the emulated servos or the real ones. The reason is that in the emulated approach, joints numbers start with one representing the axis of the robot, and there's no offset at all, while in the real robot, the pin number represents the physical pin where the servo is connected to, and there might be an offset correction as part of the calibration procedure. Dealing with the serial port in Copilisim, it's simple. We must use the sim serial open function to open a port inside the syscall init function. The first argument of the function is the name of the serial port. In Windows, it is a COM port, while in Linux or Mac OS, it's usually named TTY. The second argument of the function is the communication speed, which I have set to 115,200 bouts. In the syscall cleanup function, you need to call the sim serial close function to close the serial port, as shown. In the syscall actuation function, we need to read continuously all data coming through the serial port. Every time there's data available and the semicolon is found, we read the information available uh, from the serial port with the function sim serial read. This function returns as a text string with a message. Then we decode the message using the parse servo data function that I will explain later. And this function indeed returns a list with all joint positions corresponding to the servo positions 
that will be used as target positions for each joint. The parse servo data function decodes the message and returns a list with the joint angles ingredients. The function uses a string uh, or uses string functions included already in, in Lua to find character positions where the relevant information is found, such as the pin and angle. The code assumes that the pin value corresponds to the number joint value. Now we will see how this works in Copilisim. In the video description, I have provided a file with all you need to reproduce this example. So, in this uh, simulation, I have prepared an environment with the Mian robot, as you can see here. It's based on a dynamic simulation, which means that um, the joints are, or the, there, are, there are parts that are dynamic, like for instance, this one here, which is, this body is dynamic. And also the joints have been uh, set with a force torque mode, but also I have modified the upper limit velocities in order to reproduce a more realistic behavior so that the servo takes a time to reach the target positions. I have, been, I have done this uh, for, servo, uh, for the joint one, but also for joint two, I have modified the upper velocity limit and also for joint three here, okay? All of them are configured in a uh, torque force mode, okay? So before running the simulation, I will uh, explain the Arduino code, okay? So let's move to the Arduino environment. Here, what I have is a code in which I have configured, um, well, I have defined the robot emulation uh, variable here. I also have defined the, the robot servo T uh, data type. I have defined here uh, a variable robot servos with three uh, servos configured with one, two, and three uh, as pin numbers, and also uh, the corresponding ranges and uh, offsets and everything. I have defined it for uh, different configurations here. And then in the setup, I just simply uh, initialize the serial uh, port and then uh, write uh, for each of the joints uh, a message with each of the positions uh, as defined in these variables here. And then I wait for, uh, for time in milliseconds, okay? In the write servo instruction here, or in the function, sorry, uh, then if you're using uh, the real robot, then you have, uh, you use this part of the code, but if not, then you just simply send a message over the serial port with the protocol that I have described before, okay? With the S letter, with the pin number, the colon character, the angle, and then the semicolon character. And also if you, once at the end, at the end of the code, we just simply detach the servos in the simulated environment or the emulated environment, we just simply do nothing because there's nothing to do. Okay, so if we upload this code uh, to, to the uh, microcontroller here, as you can see, I have an Arduino Nano connected to my USB port. So if I upload the code, and you can see I have nothing connected to the microcontroller, okay? Uh, so if I uh, upload the code, it's been uploaded. Then if I go here to the simulation and then I will explain uh, the, the corresponding code for the Copelisim uh, part, if we go here and then we can see here as I explained in the, before, uh, we have just simply um, this instruction here will be used to open the serial port then we get the handles for the for the joints and everything. So it's joint one, joint two, and joint three, what we are interested in. I usually uh, like to print this variable here because if we get a minus one, means that we the serial port was not opened, okay? And then uh, also in the cleanup function, we just simply to, need to close the serial port. And as I explained before, we just simply need to uh, parse the servo data that we receive uh, every time we receive a message on the, on the serial port, we, we decode this message. Uh, we get here uh, joint values 
we set the target position for those values and we're done okay and this function here it's the one in charge of decoding uh, the string message okay so if i click here and if i press the reset button you will see here all the messages that uh, uh, that the, the, the arduino nano it's sending okay so i will right now press the reset button and at the beginning it's sending this configuration here which is the actual position of the robot but then it's sending different positions and as you can see the robot it's moving accordingly and also as you can see it takes some time to move to the reference positions okay and now it returns to the initial configuration okay